I'm Pixie and welcome to Pixie's Pit. On today's show we will be discussing last night's AEW Dynamite and trying Pringles Wendy's Spicy Chicken. And Pringles Rotisserie Chicken. Okay. Let's get into these. So you can notice the packaging is a bit different. This one's supposed to just be uh, a giant rotisserie chicken being cut. And this one actually looks like the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. And it's supposed to be that. And it has lettuce and tomato and some sort of mayonnaise-esque sauce. And it's spicy. All right. So let's try the rotisserie chicken ones first. Let's get these open if we can. There we go. Give them a sniff. Smells like a rotisserie chicken. Uh, gonna just pour those in the bowl. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna show you my bowl of them. They don't look particularly seasoned, but they really do smell like a rotisserie chicken. And I'm gonna show you what they look like as well. Here they are. All right, so Pringles rotisserie chicken, here we go. Not tasting it at all. Let me try again. doesn't taste like rotisserie chicken. It smells just like it though. Uh, it just tastes like a typical Pringles chip with a bit of seasoning on it. The seasoning isn't spicy. Um, it just kind of tastes like maybe some sort of mild seasoning that would be used on chicken, but not necessarily rotisserie chicken. These are a little bit disappointing. I'm gonna give them a six out of 10, horns in the air. All right. We've got the Wendy's Spicy Chicken. Uh, now I did try the Wendy's Baconator uh, chips in one of my first wrestling videos. I believe it was titled uh, Wrestling, Heavy Metal, and Pringles Wendy's Baconator. So if you're interested uh, in seeing those chips uh, get a review, you can check that out if you want to. Let's get these out. Okay. Let's pour them on top of those in the bowl so you can tell the difference because these look right uh, much more orangey and uh, much more seasoned right off the bat. All right, I'm going to show you the uh, length as well, about the same as the other, just uh, much more orangey seasoning. All right, so let's dig in. There is a chicken sandwich vibe happening here for sure. Mmm, it's actually quite good. Heat builds a little bit. Let's do one more. So that does remind me of a spicy chicken sandwich. Now, does it taste like chicken? No, but it tastes like the seasoning that they typically use in these kinds of uh, chicken sandwiches, especially from Wendy's. So you get um, a little bit of the heat, you get the seasoning. Uh, it kind of does simulate a chicken sandwich taste, even though it doesn't really taste like chicken just based on the seasoning that you're getting. Am I getting lettuce and a tomato and mayo? No, but I have to say that that was, uh, 
a much better effort uh, than the first one. This one's going to get an 8 out of 10 horns in the air. If you see that one, it's definitely worth uh, picking up and trying out. I think you will at least uh, enjoy it for the novelty um, effect of it. It is fun. All right, so let's get into last night's AEW Dynamite. The show kicked off with the God of Thunder, Chris Jericho, versus the Juice, Juventud Guerrera, who was loose in Jacksonville. The Juice was loose in Jacksonville. The Juice chops Jericho and pulls his hair and delivers two Huracaranas. He does a drop kick and tries to cover quickly. Jericho pushes Juvie off the ring apron. They exchange chops. Jericho delivers a crossbody. Hoovy tries for an uppercut. Jericho knocks him down. The Juice delivers a thrust kick and tries to go for the cover. The Juice locks in a submission hold in the center of the ring. Jericho delivers two shoulder tackles, a double axe handle, a backbreaker, and rips Hoovy's mask. Jericho locks in the walls of Jericho. The Juice hits a Hoovy driver. Jericho delivers a Judas effect, but it doesn't count. So he does it again from the top rope to get the win. MJF announces that Jericho must fight Wardlow next week. MJF will be the special referee. Although I did enjoy this match and it was really great to see Hoovy uh, and the match had a cool kind of retro feel to it, I found the Juice's wrestling to be slightly sloppy and that could have been dangerous. Um, Wardlow is the next labor, is a little bit of a letdown after Gage and Hoovy. Uh, it's a bit anticlimactic. The next match was the Mad King, John Moxley and Darby Allen with Sting versus Daniel Garcia, Matt Lee and Jeff Parker. A fun moment in this match was when Matt, awestruck by Sting, freezes and yells out, you're the real Sting. Darby took advantage of this and delivered a tope suicida. Moxley delivered the paradigm shift to Garcia and Darby used a coffin drop for the win. Next, we see the Elite backstage shooting hoops. Kenny Omega sports a Cookie Monster t-shirt. The Young Bucks sport cabana outfits, and Gallo seems to be wearing a Ric Flair-esque robe. Could these outfits be hints at CM Punk and Ric Flair coming over? Let me know in the comments if you think these wrestlers are just having fun with the fans, or is there something to it? The next match was Christian Cage versus The Blade. Christian was attempting a move from the top rope when the bunny grabbed his leg. Layla Hirsch chased the bunny away. The Blade dropped Christian across the top rope. He also charged at Christian, missed, and ran into the steel post. Christian delivered an elbow off the top rope on the outside of the ring and a diving uppercut. He tried for the kill switch, but The Blade powerbombed him. The Blade tried to use the brass knucks, but Christian speared him for the win. Britt Baker announced that she will defend uh, her title against Red Velvet on Rampage as she stomped her. Chavo told Fuego del Sol to shine El Idolo's shoes, but when he refused, El Idolo rammed him into a door. He then threatened the Lucha Brothers. Lampert threatens revenge on the Murderhawk monster and says that he will have backup. Shivani is interviewing Hangman Page when the Elite come to the ring. They tell Page that he should stop begging to rejoin them because they don't take in losers uh, and failures like him. Hangman slapped Omega. Gallows and Anderson deliver the magic killer to Page. The Dark Order try to make the save, but Grayson and Uno prevent it uh, because earlier in the night, Page indicated that he didn't want the Dark Order's help. The Young Bucks deliver BTE triggers to Page. Frankie Kazarian runs down to the ring, but he's outnumbered. Omega hits Page in the head with the AEW world title. The main event of the evening was Malachi Black versus the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Black came to the ring sporting a skull mask with deer antlers. Uh, he kicked Cody, used a knee bar, and gouged at his eyes. He delivered a beautiful leg sweep and a single leg crab. Cody tried for the crossroads but got kneed in the head by Malachi. A kick by Malachi sends Cody reeling to the outside of the ring and through the timekeeper's table. Malachi delivers black mass and pin Cody by placing one foot on his chest. Cody seems to be delivering a retirement speech when Black hammers Cody from behind with a crutch. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on that match. If you like today's content, please give the video a big like and remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay metal and goodbye and good night.